I am actually a very strange personality because I was born in Zagreb as a little Zelko Juresha in, uh, in an old town, Gorni Grad was the uh, name. And then suddenly in England I became Jelko Juresha. The theater needed me to be principal dancers because they, they didn't have many dancers. I wasn't yet completely evolved, but they presented me, which is interesting, with a theater contract and contract to join the Communist Party. When I said that I, I will uh, sign theater contract, but not Communist Party contract, because I'm not interested, they said, if you, yes, we, we need you, so you sign the theater contract, but we will not be able to guarantee your artistic progress unless you sign communist. Now, that decided that I have to leave for England and friend Anna Truscott, who was English uh, ballerina who was dancing with us, telephoned England and got me scholarship in uh, Tunbridge Wells. And I, I think in three, four uh, days I flew in November 1988 to London and joined the school, and then career just opened and happened. And what was the most um, exciting thing performing for the Queen uh, was that her, uh, she was like me actually, very natural. <laughs> she said, how was it? We enjoyed it very much. <laughs> and I said, yes, we enjoyed it too very much dancing for you. And what I loved in her sitting room, on one side was a great English painter, I, at this moment I can't remember, portrait of her, very modern portrait. And on the other, it was a sort of double drawing room with a fireplace there, fireplace there. And on the other side was Charles I who was beheaded. Amazing sort of uh, cultural. <laughs> I loved her. What inspired me to dance was the ugliness of the war when I was born. I was born during the German occupation. Uh, we were hungry, we were starving, we didn't have anything to play with. And I think my desire for beauty was simply to escape this horror of the war. I, I designed the costumes because, especially when we started the tours around the world, because we didn't have a scenery like you have it in a big theater. You have palaces and gardens and all that. So I felt that costumes were our glamorous presentation. The more beautiful you look, the more the public will enjoy ballet and ballet is based on the beautiful costumes. And this is the Nutcracker costumes which I designed. These ones, pink ones. And that was designed by Oliver Messel uh, for Royal Ballet production. I love my jewelry. Yes, the, I, I, I love, uh, this is the watch which I chiseled. The watch is Movado. Movado, but uh, the bracelet is mine, you see? It's a very, very barbaric, dark. I don't want shiny silver. I have full suitcase of jewelry, hairdressers, uh, hairdressers uh, necklaces, bracelets, uh, uh, the, the um, uh, girdles, how do you call them? Belts. Belts, yes. And all that, it gave me a really great pleasure. Excuse me, I think God is calling me. Sorry, I will talk to you later. <laughs>